Welcome everybody to another episode of Let's Make Dinner, your audio library of amazing dinner recipes you can get on the table any night of the week. I'm your host, Susie Weinrich. What's up, good people? All right, so we've got a great recipe that we're sharing today. This one is a veggie pad thai. So if you've ever gotten take it, taken out, if you've ever gotten takeout from your favorite, um, usually like a Thai restaurant, pad Thai is a super common dish that I know we love to order. So if you've never had pad Thai, it's definitely an Asian style recipe. It has rice noodles that are really good and usually some kind of egg like you would find in like a fried rice. So like a scrambled egg and then lots of veggies and maybe a protein like chicken or beef or tofu. Now in this recipe, we are just using veggies. We're going to skip the protein this time. And then it's all mixed with this delicious kind of tangy, nutty, herby sauce that coats and thickens across the entire dish. Then you finish it off with some chopped peanuts, some cilantro, some fresh squeezed lime juice, and it's absolutely delicious. No need for side dishes here. This is kind of a one pot dinner. This recipe will probably serve about four to five people. Although I think my husband and I could probably finish an entire recipe all on our own. Now, what I will tell you is that when you see the ingredient list to make pad thai at home, you're going to be like, all right, just forget it. That's too many ingredients. But here's the other thing I'm going to tell you is that once you buy all these ingredients, you have them and you can make pad thai whenever. And honestly, that list of ingredients is really common in a lot of like Asian style noodle recipes, like a lo mein or something. So really, once you have them, you can make a whole litany of recipes in that Asian category. Once you get all of the ingredients measured out and chopped and and everything, this recipe comes together pretty quickly in about 15 to 20 minutes. You can make it, you know, during the week. You can make it on the weekend, on a Sunday night. Anytime is a good time for veggie pad thai. A couple tips and tricks and I guess some like ingredient information before we get started. In my veggie pad thai recipe, I call for broccoli, red peppers, bean sprouts, and green onions. Those are the veggies that we're using. If you want to add edamame, celery, carrots, uh, maybe bok choy, you go right ahead. Basically, it's just the amount of vegetables that you're adding. So if you want to do one cup of broccoli and two cups of bok choy, you can absolutely make those substitutions. No problem whatsoever. Another ingredient that I just want to note on is traditional pad thai includes something called fish sauce. If you are sensitive to fish flavor or you want to make this more of like a a vegetarian or a vegan recipe, you can omit the fish sauce altogether and just include more vegetable broth or chicken broth. Or you can half the fish sauce, so it calls for four tablespoons. You can half it and do the other half with vegetable broth or chicken broth, or just do a couple dashes. So totally up to you, however you want to flavor your dish. Another ingredient this recipe calls for is fresh, peeled, and minced ginger. A a kitchen shortcut that I love to take anytime a recipe calls for ginger is using the little frozen cubes of fresh minced ginger. And I believe the um, brand is called Durat Gardens and I get it at Trader Joe's. I think it would be available in your normal, you know, grocery store freezer section. They're just these little tiny cubes of, like I said, frozen fresh ginger and each cube is a teaspoon. So for this recipe, you would need three teaspoons. So three cubes of that little frozen ginger. All right. I think those are all the tips and tricks that I have for this veggie pad thai recipe. So let's go ahead and get into making the full recipe. You ready? There's kind of what I think of as three different sections to this recipe. So we're going to make the pad thai sauce. Then while you're making that sauce, you're going to boil the rice noodles, and then we're going to put it all together with the veggies. So where we're going to start is actually making that pad thai sauce. And I like to just make it in a, um, 
like a large glass measuring cup is my preference. But if you just want to do it in a bowl, that works too. So what you're going to do is whisk together a half cup of vegetable broth or chicken broth, one tablespoon of tamarind paste. I think I got my tamarind paste either at Whole Foods or Sprouts. It's definitely a key ingredient to pad thai sauce, so don't skip it. When you open up the jar, it's kind of like a brown molasses looking paste. And if you smell it, it smells just like raisins. But if you taste it, it is extremely tangy, almost like vinegar tangy. So don't skip that ingredient. You need one tablespoon of tamarind paste, four tablespoons of fish sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, four tablespoons of brown sugar, one heaping tablespoon of creamy peanut butter, three chopped garlic cloves, one tablespoon of fresh ginger, and one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Give that all a really good whisk so that the peanut butter kind of mixes down into the sauce, and then you can actually set that aside. And like I said, while you are making all of these other parts, you want to boil eight ounces of rice noodles, just like you would um, normal pasta. And right on the side of the box, it should tell you, usually rice noodles are anywhere from like five minutes to seven minutes for a cooking time. Then you'll rinse that under cold water and toss those noodles with one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And again, you can set that aside until we're ready for those a little bit later. On to making the vegetable pad thai. You're gonna wanna have a large nonstick skillet that has kind of high sides, or you could use a wok for cooking this. You just want to put it over pretty high heat and you're going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Then you're going to stir in three cups of fresh broccoli florets, one red pepper, three minced garlic cloves, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, and then a quarter cup of water. And you're just going to saute this for about three minutes until the broccoli is what I call crisp tender. So you don't want to cook it down so that it wilts down completely and is like mush. You just want it to turn like this really beautiful bright green color and just starting to become tender. It doesn't need to be fully tender yet. Then what you want to do is push all that veggie mixture to one side of your skillet or wok. And then you're going to pour in two large eggs that are just lightly scrambled that have a pinch of salt mixed into them. Give those a good scramble until they, you know, completely set up and then go ahead and push those over to the side with the veggies. All right, now we're going to finish the dish. What you're going to do is add to the pan those cooked rice noodles, one cup of bean sprouts, and five green onions that are chopped. And let me tell you with the green onions, you wanna use the bits that are white and light green. Those are the parts that have that really nice onion flavor. Then pour that pad thai sauce all over everything, grab a pair of tongs and toss everything and let it kind of saute for an additional two minutes. What's gonna happen is the veggies are gonna soften a little bit more, the noodles and the veggies are going to soak up that, that pad thai sauce. And then the sauce is also going to start to thicken a little bit. Then after the two minutes, you will remove the pan from the heat and let it just set and cool and thicken for about another two to five minutes. While that's cooling, you can get your garnishes ready. And the garnishes don't skip the garnishes. They make a huge difference in the flavor of your pad thai. So you'll wanna chop up a quarter cup of fresh cilantro, chop up some whole limes into lime wedges, and then also chop up half a cup of roasted peanuts. And then when you serve it up, you can just spoon it into bowls, spread a little bit of that cilantro over top, squeeze the lime wedges over top, and then top it off with a little bit of the chopped roasted peanuts. If you've got some people in your crowd that like a little extra spice, you could put some sambal on the side, which is just a red chili paste. You can find it in, um, you know, like the grocery store where they have the other Asian foods. They should have sambal right there. It's usually in a little jar and has a gold label with a green lid and um, is very red. 
you can offer some extra red pepper flakes for people to sprinkle over the top. So that does it for the full recipe for veggie pad thai. Of course, you can find the full recipe on momsdinner.net. That is my website where I share all of my recipes. They're all free for you to grab. You can print them. You can save them to Pinterest. You can even text yourself the link to the recipe and all of the ingredients. So if you're on your phone and you go to momsdinner.net, slash vegetable pad thai, you'll find this recipe. And of course, I'll link it in the show notes for you as well. There will be a button at the top that says jump to recipe, jump down to the recipe card. And there's a button right in the middle of the recipe card that says, text me the recipe link and all of the ingredients. And it will text it right to you. And you can take your phone to the grocery store and buy all of the ingredients. (laughs) Because like I said before, There's a lot of ingredients involved in making this veggie pad thai, but it's oh so worth it. So if you're enjoying these episodes of Let's Make Dinner, I would love to have you subscribe in your preferred podcast player. And then if you have a minute, I would love to have you rate and review the show in whatever podcast platform you choose. So until next time, I hope this episode of Let's Make Dinner makes your dinner time a little easier. See ya! Now it's time for your double dip. All right. Thank you for sticking around, guys. If you're enjoying cooking along with me every week, then you know you can come back here on Thursday and join me for another recipe when you're fresh out of dinner ideas for the week. (laughs) I polled my audience and they all said that Thursday was a really hard time for them to come up with new dinner ideas. You've cooked all week. It's not quite the weekend. You just need one more dinner idea. So come back here to the Let's Make Dinner podcast and cook along with me on Thursday. So what are we making next week? That's what the double dip is all about. It's about getting ready for the next episode and making sure that you have all the ingredients to make that dinner. So next week, we are making veggie enchiladas that have the most delicious chili lime crema drizzled right over top. You're absolutely going to love it. So I will put a link to this recipe in the show notes so you can find all of the ingredients. And like I said, you can text yourself the recipe link and the ingredients right from the recipe card. But to make sure that you know exactly what you need, I'm going to go over all of the ingredients here and you'll know what you need to buy and what you already have. All right, so to make these veggie enchiladas, you're going to need a poblano pepper, a bell pepper, garlic, fresh tomatoes. You can use cherry tomatoes or Roma tomatoes. You'll need about three quarters of a cup, four green onions, half a cup of frozen corn, third a cup of fresh cilantro, and then some spices from your spice cabinet. So garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, chili powder, salt. You'll need a 16 ounce can of refried black beans. And then 10 either flour tortillas or corn tortillas, whichever one you prefer. A 10-ounce can of verde enchilada sauce. And then some cheese. You can use cheddar cheese, Colby Jack, Pepper Jack, Monterey Jack, whatever you like. Then for the chili lime crema, you need half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, one fresh lime, and then again, some spices from your spice cabinet. So cumin, chili powder, garlic powder, and kosher salt. And that's everything you need to make dinner with me next week on Thursday. So I hope I see you guys there. Have a great week.
So you're going to add in those eight. You're going to, now you're going to, oh my God. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get my words out. 